Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video I wanted to actually give you or show you a little trick in Space Engine where you can kind of change things into any other things. This is actually a kind of a continuation of the April Fool's video that I made on April Fool's Day on April 1st where I changed the earth into a flat pancake. So today I'm going to show you how I did this and basically give you an idea of what you could possibly do uh, with Space Engine. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So let's just actually escape the Earth Pancake and go somewhere fun. Uh, let's uh, find a cool system that we can maybe play around with and explore and change completely. Um, actually, I was originally going to do this right here, which is what I named WoW here. This is a, a new Space Engine version starts right here. This is where you get to see. This is absolutely incredible. You're looking at this volcano. You're looking at this really beautiful ringed planet known as um, Hipparchos 962615. And honestly, I don't actually know if this is a real um, system or if this is a real planet. I did go to Hipparcos catalog, which is the actual um, catalog that is mentioned here, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't actually locate this planet or this star system. So I don't know if it's real. Um, but then I realized, well, this is already beautiful. There is really nothing to change here. So let's actually maybe do something a little bit different. Let's, uh, let's imagine this is like a million years in the future. And so instead of changing that particular beautiful system that is already pretty beautiful, we're going to go and uh, change something else. We're actually going to take a look at UI Skutai, which is the one of the largest, if not the largest stars we've discovered to date. Uh, there is some uh, hypothetical stars that might be maybe larger, but this is the one that we definitely observed, and it's it's huge. Anyway, when we're going to imagine that this is actually something like a million years in the future, when UI Skutai is actually going to go supernova and uh, uh, change from being a, super, a red luminous supergiant, also known as M4 supergiant, to essentially a neutron star. We're going to turn this into a neutron star. Now, it's not going to become um, a black hole because it doesn't have enough mass. It's very likely going to turn into a neutron star. So how do we do this? Well, the magic button for this is Shift F2. You bring up this console right here that allows you to change anything into anything else. Now, what you might want to change is the type or the class, but if you don't really know anything about the spectrum that you want to create, you may need to do some Googling and find out what you want to make it into. So first of all, let's actually, we're going to keep the mass the same. Let's actually decrease its radius quite dramatically. As a matter of fact, we're going to make it really, really, really small. And as you can see, it's now going to start really bugging out. It doesn't look like a star at all anymore. Unless we increase its temperature, actually, even this doesn't change. And that's because at this um, spectrum, it cannot really be that small, so the game doesn't detect it properly. We're going to change the spectrum. Now, if you know anything about the spectrum of black holes and neutron stars, they have their own letters. Black holes are X, so if I change this to X, it becomes a black hole. And neutron stars are Q. And there it is. So because we're making this into a neutron star, let's just keep decreasing its radius. It's going to be really, really, really small. And at this point, uh, you're going to start noticing some really cool effects really soon. Um, actually, if I increase temperature, it's going to become more star-like. So I do need to do that because I don't want it to look like an orange ball of nothingness. And we want it to look like a star. So, uh, and you can also see the gravity increasing dramatically as well. It's, it's approaching the level at which um, it's going to start experiencing some really cool relativistic effects. So there's going to be some light bending and so on and so forth, but we don't really see it just yet. And um, here we go. I think this is actually what I wanted to create here. So we have a relatively small neutron star here. I'm going to decrease temperature just to show you how cool this looks. Check this out. Look at these beautiful effects. Let's actually accelerate time just so it moves a little bit faster. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to wait for the aperture of this camera to readjust so that you can actually see the effects. And so here we go. You can actually kind of see that this is a very beautiful, unusual looking neutron star with like a really unusual red color. So these probably don't exist in real life. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, but chances are it's not going to look like this. It's very likely it's going to be very, very bright. So it's going to be even brighter than this. It's, as a matter of fact, it's going to be something like this. This is what um, the 
UI skew tie will become at some point, but I really like doing this to these stars because look how cool this is actually going to look now. So if we actually look at it, you can kind of see there's all these really incredible effects inside. So it's sort of like uh, the actual star material circulates around, but it goes into the poles and it kind of just recirculates again. Uh, so if you increase the brightness here, it will actually become more realistic looking. This is very likely what an actual neutron star looks like, but this is really what you want to do with it. Create this unusually looking ball of, uh, I guess, plasma or something. And anyway, so that's essentially how you can play around and create various objects by using uh, these various settings here. So we actually can make it even more cool looking by doing this. So now we have relativistic effects around it and you have this really beautiful plasma effect on the inside. Look how beautiful this is, especially from maybe this distance right here. So um, you could do this with pretty much every object. So let's just say, you know, you, you want to go into um, the Trappist system and then maybe change something in there into like a brighter star just to see what it would look like if this was a much, much brighter star and what you would see from those particular planets. So you do, what you do is you click Shift, shift FT, uh, F2, uh, maybe change this to a slightly different uh, star, like for example, we can increase some luminosity here and some temperature, give it a little bit more temperature. And uh, now we can take a look at what these planets will look like. So here's, for example, TRAPPIST-1e, which is officially is known as the most Earth-like uh, planet in this system. And in this case, it's, it's going to look a little bit different from before because we just changed the star. It looks a little bit different. So if we land on the surface of TRAPPIST-1e, it's going to look a lot brighter than before. And if we change the star even further, it will actually reflect on the way that everything looks on the star. So here's a red uh, star trappist, here's the more blue star trappist, and this will very likely also affect, or you can also change the luminosity, of course. This will also affect the actual temperature on the uh, planet as well, but usually the temperature is more affected by mass. So if you increase the mass of the star, you give it a little bit more radius, the temperature of this planet will also start changing as well. And so here is what the Trappist looks like now. It's a slightly bigger blue star with a bit of a bug inside. So you will definitely experience some bugs when the star is a lot bigger or a lot smaller than it should be. But, you know, you can play around and find out what works and what doesn't. And you can obviously go to our solar system. Like, for example, let's go to Jupiter and uh, change anything into anything. So I can basically take a look at Jupiter and then change it into a black hole by pressing X. And here we're going to choose star and change this to X to make it into a black hole Jupiter, which I don't really see anymore. I think it's somewhere in the middle right there. Um, the arrow is pointing this way, so I guess it is this way. But uh, where exactly is it? Where did it go? And I guess it's really hard to see because basically um, the mass of it was too low. But if I increase the mass, you can definitely make it a big Jupiter uh, black hole right there, right in the middle. And if I accelerate time, you'll see that all of the moons of Jupiter start orbiting around it like nothing's happening. Or, yeah, there they are. They're kind of inside of it right now, so I need to decrease the mass a little bit. Anyway, so that's how you can play around with pretty much everything. Change anything to into anything. And most importantly, change Earth into a big pancake, which I did in my April Fool's video. And so hopefully you learned something from this video. Now you know how to change things in Space Engine and how you can basically uh, experiment with various objects if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and likes to learn through video games and come back tomorrow to learn something else i'll see you guys tomorrow space out and as always bye bye